What is going on guys, 2.0 here and in today's video I have 20 exotic engrams to open for you guys along with a legendary and a couple of blues as well. So if we have a look at my character we can see here I have 3 exotic primary engrams, 4 exotic special engrams, then we have 2 uh, chest engrams and 4 gauntlets and then a total of 7 exotic helmets and 1 legendary so that is a grand total of 20 exotic engrams one legendary and then i think i counted 13 blues before this is definitely going to level up my crypt art rank um, at least once we may even level it up twice i'm not sure how far it is leveled up but we will see um oh we're just going to get rid of a few of these and then we will be able to have a look but now oh, we have to go out of this as well um yeah i'm not sure if we'll be able to level it up twice but we will definitely level it up at least once and then hopefully we'll get another legendary out of the package but if you're wondering how i got so many exotics um, i'll just explain whilst i open all the blues but yeah the way i've got them i've got seven exotic uh, helmet engrams um, and i bought quite a few of those from Zer, as that is the exotic engram he is selling at the moment and then I've also bought a lot of those three of coins consumable from Xur. Um, that's new to the Taken King. And that increases your chances of getting an exotic engram drop whenever you kill an ultra. So these are the enemies at the end of uh, strikes. So every time you run a strike, just use one of those three of coins. So we actually got a legendary from a blue. Uh, but yeah, every time you do a strike, you just pop one of the three of coins, and then when you kill the boss at the end, you have quite a high chance of getting an exotic engram. So I've been farming strikes um, all of yesterday and quite a lot of today as well in order to be able to get 20 exotic engrams for you guys. So if we go and open up the blue first, um, not really... Let's have a look. See, um, 297 I'm at, that's at 275. I'll keep that just for uh, infusion on another character. Um, but yeah, let's start with let's start with a helmet, uh, mask of the third man. But that is the year two version. We got a lot of helmets, so we'll just get rid of a few of these. Celestial Nighthawk, that's great. Oh, a new one there, Skyburners Annex. I'm not really sure what that does. Um, I don't really remember a lot of the Taken King exotics, so uh, we'll do a Gauntlet one. But yeah, I don't really remember too many. Another new one. Um, I've, I know I looked at them a while back, but I can't really remember most of them to be honest. But yeah, that was another one, a new, another new one there. Um, Ruin Wings, nice. Um, I believe that's the exact same one that we just got. We'll do a chest. Um, Ow, I'm not even going to try and say that, but that is Warlock chest piece. We ended up getting a crypto package. Ah, oh, we didn't get anything good from that. So we have to go and open this up again. Um, we'll do the blues, and there we go, <laughs> um, and then that one, we'll save the weapons for last, we'll do another helmet, why not, knucklehead radar, that's brilliant, um, that was probably going to be the next one I was going to buy, but now I don't have to, next helmet, helm of inmost light, we'll do another gauntlet, uh, we've got three of those, and we've had four exotic gauntlets, um, and then another one of these, Christ of Abelufi for the Titans, Helmet Engram, Knockhead Radar again, another Helmet Engram, we got that again. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not really sure what that does, but we will have a look. Uh, we have four of these, so Fourth Horseman, brilliant. Uh, last word, cool. We'll just alternate. Hereafter, a new Sniper. I've heard this is actually pretty good, so I can't wait to use that. Um, how many have we got left? Two of those and two of those. So we'll do... Uh, I'm looking to get the Jade Rabbit Scout Rifle. Another Hereafter. So, Hawk Moon. Oh, we got another package. Wow, this is insane. 243 Cryptarch. Um, yep, open this one. And we got a Legendary from it. Down and Doubt 00.0. Um, and then Special Weapon. Telesto, the fusion rifle, I've heard that's pretty good as well. Apparently it deals damage over time. Um, and then the last one is a primary weapon. I wanted to save the primary weapon until last because I really want to get Jade Rabbit. It's probably not going to get it, but let's have a look. And that's another new one, Zalo Supercell. Um, I think that's the one that chains arc damage for like double kills and things like that. But let's have a look at everything that we got. We'll start with the armors. 
Um, wow, that is that's actually really high. I'll use that. Um, okay, then just blues there, blue. We got a crest of Alpha Loopy, um, and then again I'm not even going to try and say that, but it is a Warlock chess piece. Chance to gain Glimmer on primary ammo pickup. Wow, that would be insane for Glimmer farming because you always get primary ammo drops. Um, and with full super orbs, recharge, grenade, and melee, we're contacting the Destiny servers. Great timing. Uh, but yeah, with full super orbs, recharge, grenade, and melee, that seems pretty good to be honest. Reduces incoming void burn damage and carry more ammo for special weapons. That seems pretty nice. It looks quite nice as well. Unfortunately, we can't preview it because I'm not on my warlock. Next, we had the gauntlets. Now, I'll keep that for Infusion Fall again. But yeah, Ruin Wings for the Titans, and then uh, three lots of these sealed Ahankara Grasps. Um, they actually have different upgrades, I didn't know that was possible. Uh, but yeah, gain an additional melee charge and melee damage, may reload primary weapon. Um, and I believe that's consistent on all of them, but on this one we got increased melee attack speed and increases reload speed of sidearms. This one increased melee attack speed and increases reduced speed of fusion rifles. And this one increased melee attack speed and fusion rifles again. Um, so these two are exactly the same, but that one is different. Um, to be honest, I don't really like using fusion rifles or sidearms, but I do love the increased melee attack speed perk. So that's not too bad. Then we've got Mask of the Third Man, Celestial Nighthawk, Helm of Inmost Light, two lots of Knucklehead Radar, and then two lots of this new one. Um, oh, it's actually for the Hunters. I was expecting it f to be for Titans. It kind of looked like a Titan one to me. Um, yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'm liking the look of that, but let's have a look at the rolls. Wait for that to load. Um, yeah, let's see. Are they the same? Uh, nope, they're different as well. So, chance to create orbs on heavy weapon kills. And with a full super, orbs may grant special ammo. That's quite interesting. I haven't really heard of that. Then go and gain bonus super energy from melee kills on minions of the darkness or bonus grenade energy on all pickup. And then the other one, more super energy uh, from non-guardian kills and gain bonus melee energy on all pickup again. Oh, that one was grenade energy. That one's melee. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'm looking forward to leveling that up and seeing what that's like. Then we've got a bunch of blues. We'll do those last, actually. They're, they're the most interesting, really. Um, fourth Horseman. Nice. Then Hereafter. Um, these have the same perks. I'm not sure if you... Or upgrades. I'm not sure if you can get different ones on the weapons, but it looks like you can on the armor. Um, but yeah, Hereafter. Sniper Rifle does arc damage. 290. And crouching increases scope zoom and makes it easier to aim under fire. Precision kills of the weapon have a chance to cause a bright flash that can blind nearby enemies. And magazine is refunded if all shots fired are precision kills. So that's kind of like the new Black Hammer, I suppose. Uh, I'm looking forward to leveling that up as well and using it. And then Telesto, um, a 290 void damage weapon. And the upgrades are multi-kills with this weapon, spawn orbs for your allies, and fusion projectiles attach and detonate with delayed void blast. So that was the um, damage over time I said before. Then lastly, the primaries. We got a bunch of blues, and then we got the last word, um, and the hawk moon. We also got uh, down and doubt. Uh, hand cannon kills with this weapon while critically wounded have a chance to start regenerating health and kills with this weapon reduce the cooldown of your grenade i forgot we also had a um, legendary helmet that i didn't check but this one had more super energy from non guardian kills and gain bonus melee energy on all pickup so that's not too bad either um, and then the final thing that we got the zay hello supercell 290 arc damage, 36 in the magazine. Arc projectiles have the chance to chain lightning when enemies are close together. Double kills of the weapon charge small amount of super energy and return ammo to the magazine. And this weapon grows more accurate the longer it is fired. So after all that grinding, hours and hours of doing strikes, trying to get, uh, kill all the bosses and get these exotics drops, we ended up getting 20 pretty quickly, to be honest. It is a pretty good way of getting exotics to do that. Um, and we ended up getting quite a lot of new stuff that I definitely will be using. So 
that's going to bring us to the end of the video guys if you did enjoy it please leave a like it really does help me out and it took me ages to farm all of these and grind to do all of the strikes but yeah please leave a like as it really does help me out subscribe if you're new around here as i do a lot of daily destiny videos and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one